What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're taking a look at the Hot Toys Joke Suicide Squad Joker in the purple coat version. Uh, I got the exclusive version. This is from Hong Kong, though, so it won't have the Sideshow logo on it. But uh, here's the front art. It's pretty nice. It's got this, like, gold foil, really bright green, and then uh, dark purple. And there's a side. And it's like this, that, um, this right here is that uh, alligator skin sort of thing, like his coat is. It's pretty cool. And there's the back. You can see the credits on there. You can pause it if you want, take a look at it. And then same on the side here, like the alligator skin. And then uh, let's get this open here. Oh, slow. All right. So it's got the credits again. And uh, the paper is like the alligator skin, looks like the jackets. Then uh, it looks like the uh, tuxedo version, looks like this is just going to open up. So there he is in there. All right, I'll come right back and uh, I'll have him out of the packaging. All right, guys, here's a look at all the accessories you get with the Joker here. Uh, we're going to start with the coat. Uh, as you can see, it's, it's a, actually a really nice coat. It's got like a nice velvet sort of uh, material on the inside, which is really nice. Normally, they, they don't do very, very nice um, materials inside of the coats, but this is really nice, actually. Um, it feels very leather-like. It definitely is feeling like real leather. Uh, also... This, you can you can feel the pattern on this as well, this crocodile-like pattern. You can definitely feel it. Um, it's kind of, to, to know, it doesn't feel like it's going to crack or anything either, which is important. That was kind of my concern when I first saw this, was uh, whether this would easily crack and stuff. But uh, it's probably totally not real vinyl, but uh, it it's a really good coat. It's really good. Um, and I think in the special edition, the exclusive version, or, you know, if you get the Sideshow version or something like that, I believe this hammer is exclusive here. Let me see it. It's got, like, a little Joker thing on there. It's like the same logo that's on his phone, which I'll show you in a sec. A little hammer for evil deeds. And then here's the phone, I believe, which is also exclusive to the exclusive set. Looking like a little mini iPhone, basically. It has that uh, Joker logo on the back there, the gold one. Then you get this uh, scary looking like barber's knife or butcher's knife or whatever. This is pretty epic. Look at that handle there. Take a look at that handle. Looking good. It's a nice silver paint. It's looking pretty realistic. Definitely not sharp, so I don't have to worry about that. Alright. Uh, look at the cane. It's the same as the uh, tuxedo version that I did a review on earlier. Then a little on the bottom there. Um, his pistol, his 1911 pistol. Looking good. <clears throat> Some really nice gold paint details. And I do like the purple paint on it. I really like that pistol. It looks really awesome. And you get his watch. And then you get this gold bracelet here. Let's go around his uh, arm there, his hand. And then you get this bracelet too. I don't know what that's supposed to be like. Oh, it's skulls. Okay, I get it now. Skulls. Interesting. And then like you get the you get these chains, these, like these heavy gold chains you're supposed to wear. And uh, this one's really thick. It's actually pretty heavy. It's like heavier than you'd think. I mean, it's definitely not like hugely heavy, but it's a, it definitely has some weight to it, which is, you know, I think it's good. It's going to help it hang over the figure really well. And then you got a smaller one. And an even smaller one than that. Then you also get some uh, wrist pegs. And then they also gave you some extra buttons for the coat. 
just in case they fall off, I'm assuming. So that's pretty cool. And then you get three right hands here, which I thought was interesting. This is, I think, is a gun hand for his gun. Really nice detail on the hands as far as like the tattoos. And then the paint on the ring. That's a good detail on there. Really awesome. And then here's this, I, I believe this is for holding the um, the knife. Some good detail on that. And then just a fisted right hand. And then you get another right hand that has this purple glove on it. Looks like this is probably for holding the cane or the hammer. And you get this one. This one might be for the phone or the cane? I don't know. I'll have to try these things out. But it's got the smiley face on there. Really good paint detail on there. Really awesome paint detail. Looks really awesome. Then these open hands. Very good. Really digging the paint on here. It looks really awesome. And then you get another. It's basically the same pose, but it's just got a glove on it for the right arm, the right arm, right hand, I should say. Sorry. And then you get your Suicide Squad base. Purple coat version. And the concrete sort of uh, paper. Then you also get this um, this uh, background here, which I don't think I'll ever use, but you get it. Alright. We'll come right back and we'll have the figure out just the way it comes in the package. Alright guys, here's a figure out of the packaging, just the way he comes without any accessories on him and stuff. And uh, I really like it. I think the tattoos are really done. We're going to take a look at that in a second. Um, I really like the accessory, the amount of accessories it comes with is great too, but... Uh, um, as far as the figure itself, it looks really awesome. Um, the detailing on the tattoos, again, is really great. The head sculpt is awesome. I really like the expression on it. And, man, just like the clothing detail, too, some of the stuff on here. But uh, we'll take a better look at it right now. See, the head sculpt is really great. A lot of good detail. Really awesome. He has that crazed, sort of manic look on his face. It looks really good. I really like it. Even down to the way his hair is combed, because I know it's like in the film, like he had more hair, like on the front part here, that would go kind of crazy up. It looks like he has more hair. It's packed back there. Looks really awesome. All right, so we'll go on to the tattoos here. And as you can see, they're done really nicely. Lots of good detail. And again, the coloring on the body is really good too. It looks like there's a, he's not completely like stark white. Like he's definitely kind of a really white sort of, you can see like the tone of his right normal skin though. It's like not crazy kind of bleach white, which is good. Like, cause he looks like that in the movie. So there's that one. It's kind of like a court jester tattoo. We'll start in the front, sorry. There's that one. Oh, Robin with the arrow on it, that's cool. Obviously he had a hand in killing Robin. And this is Joker. And the smile, let's see how far it goes down. Yep. And there's the cool bat symbol with the knife in it. That's really cool. There's the hand tattoo again, which comes on the hands too, which is cool. Very cool. Now this back tattoo of him is like very reminiscent of All-Star Batman and Robin from around 2005. Or 2008, somewhere around there. Looks really good. Although I think in that book it was, it was colored up, so... I mean, I don't exactly like it, but... Let's see, and this is God's Only Child there. 
Now, my one gripe about this body, which I don't know if they could ever fix it unless they decided to go the Fischian way of things, this seam right here on the side. It's kind of ugly, but I mean, you probably won't notice it. But I mean, it's something to take into consideration. You know, could be a deal breaker for you. Looking good. Really, really kind of interesting. I like it. They put in the stuff that you don't see in the movie, which is great. Like, I never saw this back here where it says damaged or whatever. Never see this. And his little, his cute little Batman tights. What the hell? <laughs> and then down to his boots. He's got the smiley face there. Really interesting. Really nice, though. All right, guys, now we're going to take a look at the articulation. This is about as far as you're going to get for his shoulders. Clearly has no ab crunch here because there's nothing there. So that's a little rough. No bicep swivel. It does have some forearm swivel here. That goes up to about there. Then your wrist swivel. Same on both sides. And then for legs, you go kick out that far. Goes back about that far. And uh, there's a little bit of ankle pivot, a little bit. It's a little rough because he's got these boots on, but he goes forward and back like that. But uh, yeah, no ab crunch or anything. Which, you know, I guess with this figure, you don't. You probably wouldn't really want that. You probably would want the more uniform look, you know, so you can see the tattoos really well and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, you think it, like, eventually, like, hopefully eventually, like, Hot Toys will, like, upgrade to a Fyshin sort of style body and hopefully, like, you know, we'll be able to get through all these seams and stuff like that and, like, have a more uniform, more human look to it. So, all right, guys, I'll come right back and I'll give you my final review. All right, guys, I got to say, I really love this figure. I think it's really awesome. and I think it's definitely worth it. Um... I don't really have a lot of gripes. The only gripe I can think of is um, maybe the seam in the side that I showed you guys, but I mean, that's like a minor, minor gripe. You know, that's something you're probably not ever going to see in the figure unless you really look at it and you really scrutinize it. But uh, I know that might be an issue for some people, which is why I pointed it out, but not for me. Um, so I personally think with all the accessories, everything you get, I mean, and that's the, the detail in the figure, and all the tattoos, and in the face, you know, the face uh, sculpt, uh, sorry. Okay, guys, so I think with the head sculpt, taking in all these into account, the head sculpt, the accessories you get, the amount of accessories you get, too, um, the detail in the body and in the costuming and stuff, I got to go ahead and give this figure five out of five. Never thought I'd be giving this figure that, but that's really a great figure. I definitely think you should pick it up for sure i mean i know you can probably still pretty at a sideshow and get the you might be able to still get the special edition version that comes with the phone and the the hammer there if you want it um but yeah i would definitely recommend you guys pick this up especially if you're a huge dc fan and a huge uh dc extended universe dc films fan um yeah i definitely say pick it up and uh give me a like if you like this video subscribe down below if you want to see more of my reviews and again guys thanks for watching and have a great day